today is the official opening of a wonderful exhibition, photographic exhibition, with the title Four Seasons in the Wetlands of a Critic Evros. Evros is the border of Greece and the part of Turkey which is in Europe. When I first heard the expression, a photograph speaks a thousand words, I found it very difficult to understand, and I must admit I'm still trying to do so. But looking at the brilliant photos of Father Petrus, I thought I would change this phrase to a photograph speaks of a thousand words, but at the same time it reveals a thousand aspects of the psyche of the photographer. And I'm sure that the people here tonight, they're going to appreciate this wonderful exhibition. The Hellenic Club of Canberra, where this exhibition is hosted, is very proud to have this exhibition and so to people how beautiful Greece is, and especially the wetlands of a critic, Evros. When I was young, I had one dream, especially in my hometown, because there was too close to my hometown, one beautiful paradise. This beautiful paradise is uh, the delta of river Evros. And uh, when I have uh, some time, spare time uh, from uh, my church, I went to the Delta River and uh, took some photos. So after 15 years, I have published one book uh, with uh, the God's help. And uh, you can see all these photos from uh, the acritic uh, place of Greece, uh, River Evros. It was thousands of photos, but here there are only 40 photos. It's very important because uh, our nature is our home. So if we respect our home, it's uh, a present for ourselves. And I like here in Australia, my new hometown, that uh, here the nature is very, very beautiful. And uh, the animals and the people, especially the Australian people, they have respect about the nature, about the birds, the animals, for everything. Uh, and uh, this is not the same like the Greece, because in, especially in this uh, wetland, we have problems uh, with uh, the hunters, with the fishers, fishermen, and uh, it's uh, not so good. Fantastic, really good. Learn a lot of Greek too, find out what a flamingo is in Greek. I never knew what it was. What's it in Greek? Finikopetro. So very good. According to St. Vasilius the Great, the eyes are the two immaterial hands by which the soul touches its beloved visible things even from afar. And those that it cannot touch by hand, it touches and it joys also through the eyes. For even the gaze is touched more subtle than the touch of hands, yet less so than the touch of the imagination and the mind. I have diligently captured through my camera lens the beauties of the delta and presents here in this exhibition so that the most royal, the most royal of all our senses, according to St. Nicodemus of Mount Athos, which depends on the soul and relates to our mind, may touch that cannot be touched, as, as described by St. Gregory the Theologian. Yes, I'm very interested about the environment, uh, but I think, especially here in Canberra, we are very lucky because the environment here is, the hair is, uh, is clean, everything is uh, under the green, so we are very lucky. I have another, uh, I have plenty of uh, photos, thousands of photos from all over the world, especially from countries, 45 countries, uh, with uh, people uh, they celebrate. I like to photo people, especially at the festivals. So your passion is? Photography. My passion is photography. When I have uh, some time to do some uh, photos. Beautiful the way he's captured the wildlife. And captured a moment. It's good though. Brilliant. Quality. What is that? What is that? What is that? 
Thank you. Manoli, you can see my equipment there. <laughs> Did you see? Father Pedro signed himself. Hello. Hello, Angela. Greg. Hello, Hello, Yes, it's wonderful to be here tonight uh, for the opening of um, Father Petros's photographs that he's taken over the last many years. Um, it's fantastic to be supporting our parish priest um, and his um, obviously extra hobby that he has. Um, though obviously, as you can see, they're wonderful photographs. Um, and another bonus is um, all part of the proceeds are going to the St Nicholas home to support the community. Um, but again, like I said, it's uh, a pleasure. It's once again an extension of the Hellenic Club's cultural program to provide ex exhibits for our members. Um, so we hope tonight will be successful and I'm sure everyone will enjoy. Uh, well, I like birds. Yeah. <laughs> birds. They're beautiful. I think they're all beautiful. And obviously, Father Petrus loves them as well. <laughs> very nice. Something unbelievable. It's very, very good. He's good. That's no, good. Very surprising. The man is one of many parts, obviously, but he does this in a professional way. It's amazing. I'm, I'm amazed. Man. Look at it. There's an art involved in all of that. Tremendous art. Beautiful. And it's so important, you know, Reverend Petros, to do so nice artistic and cultural work. We are delighted. I think that his example has to be followed. If each member of our community presents his Hellenicity and uh, a dimension, an artistic and beautiful dimension of grace, we cannot find a better expression. Oh, well, I bought number one. As soon as I walked in, I fell in love with the, um, the one there, number one, and I'm buying the book as well. Very interesting. He's done a lovely job. I have just arrived, Manoli, tonight, and it's an excellent exhibition. And this is showing our Greek uh, wildlife in Evros, uh, where the Father Petros was. And uh, I think he's done a very good job. Uh, especially because uh, he used to work for National Geographic, I believe, and has toured around in many, many areas of the world. Tibet, Mongolia, Papua New Guinea, probably India, I don't know, and done all this. But he has a, a keen eye for this. And what I just noticed was in this photo here, in this uh, picture here, the frog is sitting in between his eggs. The froth is all the eggs that he's producing. You see? That's yeah, incredible. it's incredible. The detail's amazing. I can't believe it. That's amazing. Oh, incredible. Captain, beautiful. We are blessed to have a priest so talented here in Canberra uh, because uh, uh, his artistic range is extraordinary. Uh, this photography, you don't expect to see it uh, here nestled away in Canberra. So it's, uh, it's wonderful to have a priest with so many gifts. This one is definitely a unique priest. Uh, I've worked with many priests over the years and all of them have been very good and uh, we've been very blessed for... Um, many reasons um, but with Father Petro certainly there's something unique having a priest with a, an artistic um, eye and uh, who's able to relate that theologically into the work he does as a priest and see a connection between his work and the beauty of nature and the creation of God uh, is a very unique gift and we're very blessed to have um, Father Petro with us uh, in Canberra. Well, I think it's exceptional. We are like having a priest, an artist as well. He's our parish priest and you know we look up to him for advice for uh, our religion and our faith and now we kind of know that he's got this extra skill that we can support him in because he supports us uh, with our faith and I guess we can support him in his other activities. I buy the book and one photo. There's one photo that I want to put in my study. I think it's a great book. I had another book similar to this one which uh, Padre Petros gave me and uh, I'm impressed with, uh, with the quality of the pictures that he takes. Uh, he's uh, a great world traveller. He's travelled to more than 35 countries 
and he has um, convinced me that he's, uh, he takes great shots and he likes nature. Most of his shots are to do with nature and people as well. To my best uh, friend Anastasio Fkarpidi, from the first Greek people that I have met here in Canberra with Ectimisi, uh, how In English? Ectimisi? With respect? With respect, Father Petros. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Excuse me. Excuse me. That writing is exceptional. I think that is worth another $50. You didn't have your Asian professional photographer. Amateur, amateur photographer. No, you are not. I am, first of all, I am a priest. Okay, first of all, you are a amateur professional photographer as well. Those photographs in there are a testimony to your art. Thank you very much, Mr. Zorn. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Beautifully hard, Manoli. Is translation this one? No, it's private. <laughs> Privacy is first, eh? Copyright, not copyright. Yeah, look, that's precious, Manuel. Absolutely precious. It just shows the, the sensitivity of the man. That's right. It just shows how sensitive and the, he sees beauty in things. Look at that. Look at what he's captured. And the patience to do that. Well, expertise, right? And patience. patience but okay. more so expertise. To capture the photo so crisp. So crisply was is an absolute talent. Yeah. Yeah. The focus is extraordinary. As a photographer you must know that. <laughs> It means that someone's bought it because we bought this one. Yeah. Um, well, it's a small kingfisher and I really like its colours because they're nice and bright with all the autumn colours. In the Alguana, in the Totikomu. I think it was very good, uh, Manali. I think uh, we respect and love. Father Petros, and uh, the good. least we could do was to come and uh, support this exhibition. Very talented. Yeah. Do you know what no, eh, eh. We not only got eh, a good uh, papa or father, we have a good photographer and a good photographer. I think it's excellent, actually. I love the photographs. There's a lot of spirit in them. It's a lively spirit, actually. He's got a really good eye. You see he's um, got a very quick eye, and you see the character of him in the photographs, I think. Let it take care of my reflector, eh? Wonderful, beautiful, yeah, amazing. Awesome, yes, awesome made. <laughs> I'm very proud of my dad and I'm happy to be his daughter because he did such a good work and I admire him. Can you say it in Greek? No. I'm very proud of my dad because he did such a good work and 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 he did such a good work.